Hi. Uh, first of all, thank you, Reality Next, for creating such a great platform where prop techs can come and actually present to the customers or their buyers, uh, which is a very unique proposition. And also the jury for uh, actually getting us on number 1313 has been my lucky number. So uh, I'm presenting amongst the 12. Uh, so uh, let me start. So, so we are a uh, we are a MIS and a BI software company, and we built it uh, custom for the real estate sector. And uh, this is coming with a background. I've been a CFO of a multi-billion-dollar real estate company based out of NCR. Worked there for almost seven, eight years, and created their IT infra also. Starting from, I mean, we were on tally and we implemented Oracle Financials, built custom-built Salesforce CRM, which we started, I think a lot of people are using today. And this is going back to 2012-13. We integrated both, uh, created a broker management module also, gave website access to the customer to their accounts as well. So that is what we achieved. But despite doing all that, there was one key thing which was missing within the system is that the, the silo-based working because there is no custom system which integrates the physical progress to the cash flows and profitability of the project. So this is a vertical system which sits on a MS projects, a CRM system, a FICO system, and also effectively the entire finance integration and makes it interact with each other. So that's with Cerebro. The three key attributes for the sector, especially for the, for the business leaders, is that it's cyclical. Second, it's very, very capital intensive. And third, the cost of capital is extremely high. So these three things, in a good run, it's like a quite amazing, last two years. But if we go seven years before that, it's been a lull period, and which impacts the performance and governance very, very significantly. And a lot of people have faced sustainability challenge. And where I come from, I see even my own employer is struggling today, the Delhi NCR market. So Bis Cerebro, a, a little tricky name, is business and Cerebro. Cerebro means brain in Spanish, inspired by X-Men, Charles, and the Cerebro to fix problems for the business. Uh, it's an extended planning and analysis, as I explained. It goes beyond finance and also integrates the construction element or the timeline element there. Uh, it's a transition from an FP, and it does four things. Uh, it helps you do advanced forecasting at a unit level. Second, the performance monitoring, which you need to do on a monthly basis to drive the organization. Uh, we built in the predictability analysis or a predictive analysis because generally the, the real estate information is very static. It just stops there and it does not recast what has actually happened on the ground and we'll come to that as well. And automatically it creates revised cash flow projections and the revised profitability as well, which, where the continuous planning comes into picture. So with this, we achieved the predictability piece, which has been one missing piece uh, where you predict the project timeline basis where you stand today, the residual surplus, the cash flows, and the profits. Brings in more transparency by directly fetching information from those systems, okay, which are the single source of truth, effectively. And also, this leads to one most important thing is informed decision making. Because what we've realized that a lot, lot of times, because of lack of information and uh, clarity, uh, the gut-based decisions happen. And that has led to a lot of defaults also, and we'll come to that slide as well. Okay, one thing I wanted to show is that three key things which we want to achieve with this is timely project completion, reduce interest cost, that's the biggest piece when the project moves effectively in terms of timeline, and ultimately leading to improved customer satisfaction. The key gaps, uh, effectively, the silo-based system is what I had mentioned. Uh, what it leads to is a disintegrated, delayed, a lot of times incomplete, and inaccurate information flow, which is also static in nature. Very difficult to fix accountability. Project blames sales, sales blames CRM, CRM blames finance accounts for not having money effectively. Fi difficulty in fixing accountability, and thereby impacting the improvement and corrective action. This problem might be smaller at a uh, CAT A developers, but as you go down, this becomes even more grave, effectively, because a lot of investments happen in people at a CAT A level. So what this has led to historically is significant project delays. Even today, we've got, and it's a prop equity LinkedIn 
piece which says that 5 lakh units are still undelivered today, which is almost $50 billion worth of inventory. This results in suboptimal sub returns, sometimes losses to the developers, financial defaults have happened effectively, and also, most importantly, buyers suffer financial losses because of this. So the idea is to have an integrated platform which gives a lifetime view at all point in time to make sure and also works as an early warning system to make sure the project is on track. So it does five things as a function. It generates the project plans or the mandate on a click of a button. It takes 50 to 60 seconds after you push the button and the inputs are put in. It tracks the progress and profits, predicts timelines and cash flows, does analysis, gives insights to take informed decisions, and ultimately brings it on a single view dashboard where it captures from sales to timelines to construction expenditure, integrating timeline and construction, uh, timeline and sales through payment plan, converting that into billing, billing to collection, collection to cash flow, and cash flow to profitability. So that's the piece which we have tried to achieve with this, which is one missing element. So these are the features which we've discussed. So on each reporting date, it will give you a snapshot, both and we've got a mobile access also available for this. It gives you an access in terms of what are the potential project delays at a unit or a floor level, and it takes it to, drills it down to the, uh, the last project completion timeline. What is the revised cost to complete the project? Revalues unsold inventory basis the current performance, which you are doing. Generates customer billing shortfall due to construction impact or, and due to sales impact, identifying which tower is struggling in terms of construction and what is the financial impact so one can bring in a focus on there. Generates revised cash flow projections, works as an early warning signal with future funding shortfalls and computes revised profitability. Okay. The value can proposition. Can we start? Hello. So, we understand, sir. How do you compare it to a... Uh, lot of developers are different systems, right? Yeah, yeah. Somebody has SAP, FIMM, COPP, you are a, a CFO. Yeah, yeah, so I've, I've actually implemented so a lot those. of MIS. Yeah. So, so a lot of uh, different systems are available for different developers for monitoring the projects. Yeah. So it all depends on how much of input you put in, how accurately you plan, because then only you do your rolling estimates and then start comparing. So what is unique about your offering, which will distinguish you? Because I'm only interested in knowing what is the AI part of in this. In this. So there is. I a understand the system. I think a lot of different system I might have seen, but yeah. in my different projects. But what is diff what is the AI into it? So how first to answer. I think there are two parts to it. The first part where you're saying that how is it different? So even if you look at SAP or Far Vision or Tally, these are the three prominent systems across the categories of developer. They don't interact with the MS project or the physical schedule. Okay, the first thing which goes in, it starts with the project timeline. The schedule gets in the system from MS projects. Okay, the second thing which it does it, it brings in the sales and payment plan from the CRM system. Third thing it does it, brings in the trial balance from the FICO module. And what it does on a click of a button, it creates the entire business plan. So automates the business plan first, which does not happen in the SAP system, fixes the mandate. On each reporting date, you fetch these four things. It compares sales, your timeline, your construction expenditure. The key integration which we have achieved is a payment plan integration. So at a unit level, it will compute how much was billable, how much was billed, and how much could not be billed because of the construction delay, and how much could not be billed because you were not able to achieve the sales. Then it recomputes all the cost heads, depending on where you are standing today, and generates revised cash flow projections. That's what it does, so and, and computes the profitability. So this piece, no, none of the system, because they're not 100% interactive. Uh, how many implementations you have done? Uh, so we've got three uh, firm mandates. We started a year back. It took us a year to develop. So we already are live on 9 million square feet, uh, primarily in NCR, because that's where the excess is. That's where this platform is important. Uh, we've got three mandates already in place uh, uh, with the 9 million square feet, almost a billion dollar in inventory. And we've got five ongoing right now, which so are at a discussion and a finalization stage. New current implementations, are you replacing the 
SAPs and no, no. It comes as a vertical you system. You sit on the top of. It's a vertical system. system. It can come at a project level itself. So we do a, do a pilot at a project, and we keep repl replicating and bringing in more projects. So these guys are on. We are on Sri Ram Properties also. They are on SAP. So I have one Sriram fundamental question. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, because you are creating one more layer on top of some of the sources of truth, you are actually <laughs> duplicating the data. So There's how no do? Duplication. Sorry. There is no duplication. Yeah. These systems do not create. Uh, actually, they do not calculate the revised timelines. Hmm. They do not integrate the payment plan with sales and interact with the construction timelines to tell you what is. Yeah, it's a business intelligence platform, and it does not revises the entire projection, and it does it in a 60 seconds time when we fetch it. So we're taking that data. So sales CRM might tell you how much sales have happened. But somebody will fetch it and plot it on Excel to say, okay, this is the deviation. No, that part I understood. I mean, I'm just trying to understand how is it different than any data analytics, uh, you know. Uh, there is no such system as of now, if so, you but, see. But there are there are other BI tools. There's so many available which are compatible with SAP or any such in, uh, internationally renowned ERP. Sorry what, to interrupt. What, what we'll are you just doing take this specific? one last question. This is all real estate specific. What it is it in your tech so, that is different? So on a particular date, say if there are a, store, a, a particular tower had to reach 10th floor, it has reached 4th floor. What system does? It recalculates or recasts the timeline for that particular tower, which is the predictive piece and the AI part links it to the payment plan, whatever actual sales has happened, computes what was billable and bases the revised timeline creates revised billing, bases that revised billing creates revised collection projections yes, and the cash flow. Other, other, other uh, BI tools are not able to do this? I don't think there's anything. Oh, are, it's sort. beyond BI tool, uh, but there are competitions available in market which okay. do these things like, okay. you know, project tracking. Uh, uh, you know, connecting in voice with what is the real progress, quality check. I don't know. They this are does it holistically, sir. This so does it from like end to end. Bandhu Technology does that. You know, yeah. there are two, three more known okay. uh, products. So I'll, I'll study there. them.